What, I, what we're doing here today is um, we're going to learn about a new product launch that AV Pro Edge is doing. Um, it is a product launch that even though it's a brand new product, you guys are going to be very familiar with this type of product if you've done any extension with AV Pro Edge at all. So what we're, or what we're um, launching today is going to be the 70 meter HD base T transmitter. This is a standalone product that is able to take an HDMI signal into the device and then it is able to convert that to HD base T, send that signal 70 meters when using 4K, 100 meters when using 1080p to another device, which would be a receiver unit. Now, right now I have a little setup here that we'll talk about, but the receiver unit could be a lot of different things. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about what all the different things are that you can plug this into and the cases that you can use it and how to use it. And that's what we're gonna cover today um, but first, if you guys have any questions at all throughout the presentation, it's much better if you have questions. Other people are going to have those same questions, and we want to answer them for you. So in your uh, GoToWebinar control panel, if you're watching this live, you can just go to your questions tab, and if you type in a question, I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to answer it right here live so we can get any questions. Um, but like I said, this is going to be a quick training. I only scheduled it for 10 minutes. Um, I don't think we're... Um, going to be uh, doing any nuclear science here. So let's let, let's let's take a look at what we are showing, and what what we're going to be showing is this receiver. So I have the receiver connected right now. Um, as you can see, I'll just talk about my setup that I have. I have a HD base T uh, transmitter, the brand new one, the TNE, which means transmitter no ethernet is what the SKU TNE stands for but this is just a HD base T simple transmitter it does have the ability to have IR in and out and I pass you can pass uh, RS-232 signals and then it you also have um, the ability to power it via um, either end so if it if you're plugging into something that has uh, power on the other end that it has the uh, module and the capabilities to send power over the ethernet, it can be powered from there. We currently have in, uh, powering it from the transmitter side because that's usually what's gonna happen. This transmitter is gonna either be in a rack or it's gonna be near the source. It's gonna be a lot easier to plug this in and then you can power the receiver, which we're doing now. As you can see, there's no power going into this uh, HD base T receiver, which is our RNE, a product that we've been selling in, goes with all our matrix switchers and. Uh, most of you are very familiar with. And then I have just a testing device here, an analyzer. So I have my HDMI signals, actually the computer I'm talking to you on. So I can see myself right here, looking really sharp, talking to you guys on this beautiful Friday. So that's what this, this device does. So let's unplug this device. I'll power it down, unplug it. All right, and then, so this is actually the device that you're going to be um, selling. This is the standalone or, or purchasing or putting, installing or whatever else. This is going to be, we made it of course as it's the AV Pro extender way. We try to make it as thin as possible. And as you can see, we do make it as thin as that RJ45 port. So it's it literally can be hidden anywhere, can be put anywhere. We have the, uh, uh, um, the squid rack that can actually hold 15 of these all lined up really nicely. There's also a squid power supply that can power eight at one time with only one uh, uh, plugging into a uh, outlet. So it's, it makes it really, really uh, versatile. But this product, so you can see on uh, one end, we have our RJ45 link, we have our RS-232 connection, and we have our um, power connection here. Then on this side, you can see we have our audio left, right extracted, as well as our HDMI in. So when you come in with a source, you'll actually actually get extracted audio that then you can go into a distributed audio system with this as well. It does also come with heated management that you're able to um, have a settings. This has a little press button right here. You can kind of hear it maybe. But uh, by going through that press button, you can actually do EDID management. You can um, force the source that is connected to this to send the type of signal that you 
think your uh, system is going to be working best with. So if you're like, well, I have some 1080p displays or I have an older display, I'm not going to have my source send 4K and have it send 1080p or vice versa. If you have a brand new 4K HDR, uh, you know, 100 inch display that needs to have the best, the brightest and the um, boldest picture, well, you can do that with this and make sure that your EDID is set to ask for that type of signal from the source. Um, so here's the product right here. It is very simple, uh, transmitter. We'll just plug it in right now just to kind of show you guys exactly how to use it. And then we'll talk about what this receiver could be. So very simply, plug my computer uh, uh, source into it, and then I connect it to um, a category table. So what this device is doing now is it's converting the signal that comes through here to a type of different type of cable. That's what this is doing. This type of cable has limitations to HDMI. Uh, category cable is very inexpensive and you find it in a lot of builds, are used for networking. With this type of cable, you're gonna be able to go through walls, go wherever you want to, go 100 meters, 1080p, 70 meters, 4K, and then you're going to have your display. In this case, we're using our uh, Meridio Analyzer as a, this is just a 4K test tool. We're gonna to use this as our display. Let's say this is uh, you know, 70 meters away and, and, and hung up on a, on, a, uh, on a wall. And now we have this receiver, the RNE, uh, product that we sell as well that you can just as receiver no ethernet works with all sorts of different hd based t transmitters or wall plates uh, this transmitter um, any kind of transmitter that you would need including our matrix switchers and so now that we have this together let's just power it up and so now um, we are getting a connection from my computer the computer connection is going getting converted in our uh, in our you know device here our, our hd base t transmitter it's transmitting the signal over the this category cable going into my receiver that's hidden behind my tv and boom now i can see myself again on the screen that um you know i'm pulling uh live right now so it's as simple as that it's plug it, you plug it in it extends a signal if you do need to manage it, it has those tools um now, the, even though we're using a receiver, what could potentially be a receiver? Well, for many projectors, they have an HD based D input. Many uh, commercial displays, they have an HD based D input, as well as AVRs, as well as other types of receiving unit, ma uh, units, matrix switchers, distribution amplifiers, all types of things can have an HD based D signal. Now, there's a couple things to remember when installing this product. Now, HD base D has a limitation of 10.2 gigabits per second uncompressed, and that's what this runs. We use ICT compression to bump it up to 18 gigabits per second for 4K60. 4K30 can fit right under there. Um, 4K60, we have to use a little bit of light compression, our own compression ICT. So if you are using it with an AVR commercial display or a different manufacturer's uh, receiver, you will have to not utilize that ICT and make sure that the signal that you're sending is uh, uh, under that 10.2 gigabits per second. We do have bandwidth charts available, so you can always find out what your resolution and timing is gonna equate to for data rates. Um, but basically, if you're running a 4K30 signal or a 4K24 signal, what most movies and TV shows are going to be, you're never gonna have a problem and it'll just pass it on to that projector, no problem. But if you plug in a, let's say a brand new PS5 or something that's capable of sending a higher signal and the uh, EDID asks for that signal, well, your projector's not gonna be able to handle that. How you can fix that is you just go to your settings on here, we tap our settings, we ask for a 4K30 max signal, and then boom, that PS5 will send that 4K30 max signal through and your extender will work just fine. So. Um, just remembering that if you are using non-AV Pro Edge equipment, that may be something that you have to do. You just, in order for it to work, you just have to change the setting. So guys, that is everything about uh, the 70 meter transmitter from HD Base T and AV Pro Edge. We're teaming up to give you a, a, a solid, stable solution with our 10 year warranty that's going to fit anywhere where you need a standalone HD Base T transmitter, converting those high bandwidth HD, our HDMI signals 
to high bandwidth HD based T signals that can go over category cable. Um, it looks like there's no questions that came in at all. So I want to thank everybody for joining. If you're watching this later on YouTube, just make sure that you comment below, no problem at all. And I'll, we'll make sure that uh, we answer your questions as, as fast as we can. Um, these are available for sale right now. If you guys are looking for pricing or for shipping information or how long it's going to get it to, to you, you just contact your RSM or you contact us directly, 605-274-6055. Thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.